there! You found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky and this is our friend Bear who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Have you ever eaten a crunchy, delicious waffle? Some yeses, some noes, Bear. Well, Benny the Woodpecker really wants a waffle. The forest animals think he's crazy and it's impossible, but he will do anything to get one. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and go see if Benny Woodpecker can figure out some amazing way to get a delicious waffle. Let's go. Woodpecker wants a waffle. Written by Steve Breen. One morning, Benny awoke to the best tummy rumbling smell. So off he flew to investigate. W A F F L E, he read. What in the world is a waffle? The waffles smelled good. The waffles looked good. The waffles must taste good too, thought Benny. I want waffles, Benny declared. Benny politely pecked on the front door. Tap, tap, tap. But instead of waffles, he got the boot. Bap. Next, he tried to sneak in. But instead of waffles, Benny got swept away. Flap! Benny tried a number of creative disguises. But instead of waffles, he was tossed in the trash. Swoosh! What are you doing? asked Bunny. I am wishing for waffles, said Benny. <laughs> the animals started laughing. <laughs> that is ridiculous, Bunny said. One by one, the other animals chimed in. Raccoons don't eat ravioli. Lizards don't eat lasagna. Owls don't eat oatmeal. Moose don't eat muffins. Frogs don't eat fries, ribbit. Hawks don't eat hot dogs. Coyotes don't eat cupcakes. Snakes don't eat snow cones. Skunks don't eat scones. Turtles don't eat turnovers. Bears don't eat bagels. Chipmunks don't eat cheeseburgers. And woodpeckers don't eat waffles. Well, why not? Benny asked. Why not? The animals grumbled, chirped, croaked, and whispered. They thought and thought and thought and thought. Because I said so, said Bunny. I really don't have time for this said so nonsense, Benny said impatiently. Benny got right to work devising a plan to get some waffles. First, I will shoot out of a cannon. Foom! Then hit the ground juggling. Then moonwalk. And break dance. Followed by a stand-up comedy act with 
a Broadway style finale featuring fireworks. The animals were speechless, though Benny was sure he heard some snickering. <laughs> See you all tomorrow. Don't be late. The next morning, the animals gathered in the field by the diner to catch Benny's big show. No one was late. No one except Benny. As the animals waited patiently for Benny to arrive, the waitress in the diner noticed something odd. The customers noticed something strange too. Everyone at the diner stepped outside to look at the animals. That's when Benny made his move. Sweet, said Benny. <laughs> Bear's wondering, did you think Benny would finally come up with a plan that worked? <laughs> Many did. Well, Bear thinks it's really funny that the other forest animals who'd laughed at Benny ended up making it easier for Benny to get the waffle. <laughs> ha ha. Well, Bear thinks Benny outsmarted everyone. And he also hopes you come back soon for more adventures in smart planning. Bye for now. Please subscribe.